So the RF browser is a unique feature of the GQ EMF meter. It's also a US patent pending feature. So users are able to see how the RF signals changes in real time. Now we are going to test it with different kind of signals using this uh, RF generator, this brand, and start, I'm using 2.44 gigahertz. And we're, initially we're going to test the AM modulation with 25% depth and with different kinds of signals. Okay, let's start. So now we are going to turn on the RF and as we see the EMF meter detected the RF signal and um, this reading is about negative 1.2 dB from the RF generator and our EMF meter is reading 5.4 or something. Alright, so now we are going to turn on the RF modulation AM. Let's go. Alright, so initially we started with sine wave with 25% depth. And as you can see, you can see the RF browser is reading sine. Alright, now we are going to increase the depth of the signal to 50% and see how it changes. Okay. Alright, so it still looks like a sign, so now we are going to decrease a little bit of the power. Okay, so now we are trying to increase it to 100% depth. see how it changes all right it still looks like a sign but all right so now we are going to change from sine wave to a triangle with the same depth okay so this is how it looks like in the RF browser now let's try square wave yep it does look like a square so it readings the readings are higher than the sine wave looks like so let's decrease the amplitude okay Increase. Okay. Okay. Let's try um, ramp. Okay. So this is how it looks like in the RF browser from our RF generator. Alright, and then next one is noise. Noise, um, this is what it generated. Alright, so now let's do the dual sign. I don't know what dual sign is, but let's see what it looks like. This one, the AM tone rate is 1 hertz. The sine one is 1 hertz. The second sign is 40 hertz or 400 hertz on top of the 1 hertz sign. So this is what it looks like. Okay, that's it.